so it is 11:30. I am preparing for my class. I have some cranberry juice. I have some water. I've got an avocado ham sandwich with some strawberries and uh, some peach yogurt. And in case I get a little hungry, um, which sometimes I do get pretty hungry. Sorry, I'm just making sure there's no bugs because we've been having an ant problem and I just saw an ant. So I just want to make sure like I get eaten here before. So in case I get hungry, I have some chips to snack for during class because sometimes I get hungry. I've also got some water because I get really thirsty in class and um, I just drink tons of water. Making sure my fish is alive, you know. So I worked on the abstract paintings, so this is the first one I did. It's, I ended, I was going for kind of like, my initial thought of like my painting process was I wanted to paint like a desert and water like lake scene. I ended up doing flowers and I was going to do a flower vase. I did not like it and so I kind of pinned off into this floral field theme. I was kind of going for more of an impressionalistic look because I prefer painting impressionalism. I love this a lot better. So um, this one, I did this one. And then the next one, I just kind of put color down. I just went with a little bit more of the cooler tones. So I kind of ended up making lavender somehow. like. I don't know how I did it. I just kind of like did it and or at least why I did it that way. I just kind of made lavender and that, those were my two things. I did it on my handmade starfish which was cardboard and I gessoed it three times just to make sure the paint would absorb to the gesso not to the cardboard which is very important when you're painting with stuff like that. So those were my two things that I did. I um, I also got to my teacher planner. I finally came in. I had it customized to me. The company who um, do, do, do. I'm trying to see where the Etsy shop came from. So it's called a uh, case Phasm and it's from Portugal. I'm not sure if that's the Etsy shop name. Yeah, it says Keys of Phasm. Um, it's a super cute little planner. I love even like the beginning, like it has tons of things for like fire drills, um, meetings, doing assessments, semesters, school breaks, like it really breaks down the school year for you and a very easy to read platform with like tons of space for notes or even your class. Like I have a class roster, it even gives me a seating chart grid which I will use more of a format of how I want to set up my classroom. When I get that done I'm going to kind of get to sketching a little bit and get down to classroom business starting this week. So if you're waiting to see what my classroom stuff is going to be like. I'm assessing now because I go in on August 4th. I don't have enough time to kind of like not do stuff like that. So that's kind of my plan. And then I have obviously like my day to day plans, which I will start formulating once I get the school calendar for the most part. Really love how convenient this is. They even give me a little pencil, which is super cute. And I also really just love how I can just grab it and even for my substitute teachers if I need to have a substitute teacher for whatever reason it's all gonna be in here it's easy to read and easy for the te for another teacher to just look at it and be okay I understand which is important so with that being said I'm going to eat I'm setting up it Thing and I am going to just kind of go with it and I'm going to just do what I need to do today. 
um, get things done. I know this week is a new week. I also submitted my uh, assignment for making the milk paint, like the video that I did today, which I forgot to send you the link because you wanted to see that. Oh, all that like went everywhere. Okay. <laughs> Whoops. That happened. Oh well. And yeah, and that way I can start kind of like working on other things. I definitely do want to start lesson, lesson planning again, but I was on a roll with it. And then I stopped because of schoolwork assignments and like personal things and I just kind of want to get back to it and get on top of it. So with that being said, I'm going to let you guys go and I'll probably do short little clips of how class is going, what we're doing, and all that fun stuff. So yeah, talk to you later. So huh. I am currently on break for my class. I have to be back for five minutes. I'm trying to get some water, um, but we went over everybody's paintings, and they all look really great. I love looking at everybody's work, so for right now, I am going to wait for the dogs to come back in, and then I am going to head back to class, and we're going to have a slide, PowerPoint slide. And we're going to go over our painting assignment. I think we're doing still life, which... I've done a lot of still life in my life, just in drawing in general. So, to me, uh, it's not as fun. But, I'm not irritated at it. It's something that I know. It's something that is different, though, because I'm doing this in more terms of painting and not drawing so it's kind of like a little bit of a difference but we'll see how that works and I know Chris is probably going to be coming home soon so I'm just tired I've kind of been up and around and all over the place and not feeling the greatest but you know I'm just kind of going through life as best as I can right now and I'm trying to open this water but uh just trying to figure things out. He said a couple really nice things about my art. Um, the beauty and it's still symbolistic, like symbolic in some terms, which ideally in the end I just kind of went with it. I was, like I said, I had intention for it before and then it turned into something else and then I saw what it was and I was like, well, I'm just going to kind of make it more like this instead. And that's kind of how I went. Um, I'm a very symbolistic kind of artist I like to create some type of texture some type of painter like thing but I want you to know what I'm painting at the same time or at least the thought process behind it so that's kind of where I was going but everybody's pieces were really cool and just interesting to take a look at on what they decided to create which was super fun and just totally different from what I am used to uh, and like I've never take it, taken a painting class before, so that's why I was more interested in just the experience of taking the class. I'm not like too much trying to push anything else, but I'm going to let the dogs in. I have to be back in like two minutes, so I'll update you on what else we did and the assignment after class is over. I'll see you later. Bye. So I'm terribly sorry, Evan really like not been able to film too much I've just kind of been like doing my thing and like I haven't had time to pick up a camera let alone like film due to like a lot of things going on just kind of how it is right now so um for my still life project I decided to do AJ by 24 I'm slowly working on it right now this is just acrylic it does not look good. I don't think it looks good. But you know what? I'm going with it. And I'm just going to kind of paint everything. Get everything in there. Okay. And kind of just get some things done. Sorry. I'm trying to put this coin back on the thing. And 
really just kind of like pile on a couple of things. Um, it's technically due tonight, so I'm trying to at least finish everything with acrylic as best as I can. I've been procrastinating, but... Athena? She ditched, but yeah, um, that's basically it. I'm going to kind of like keep filming and keep working on this, whatever this is supposed to be, I don't know, I'm just going to kind of slowly build up and figure things out as it goes, so I'll keep you updated. Bye! So I gave them a bath, both Athena right here and Sam, and they're a little bit mad. <laughs> Look at, I got her little itching spot. She got her little foot up. But she smells so yummy and she looks happy. Look how happy she is. Are you a happy girl? Huh? Yeah. Oh, you're so sweet. Bye bye. <laughs> this was due tonight. I have an extra day. Um, this is only the acrylic layer. Um, I want to go in with oil paint on top over everything just to kind of give it more of a glow. And so I am very feeling very lucky right now. I still have a lot to do. Like there's so much detail in the cups. And this one I could do a little bit more detail. But for right now it's okay because like I said I want to do oil. So that works good. Same with the little strawberries. And I still have to finish the flower. There's a pitcher up there. The little pineapple. This little jar. And like I need to still work on the background. But I have an extra day. So I think tomorrow will be a good day to just crack down and just finish at least the acrylic layer. And turn that in on time. So fingers crossed also. I think my dog is dead. Athena. Athena. Wake up. Come here. Snoop. Come here. Wait, she's alive. Come here. Say hi. Come here. Oh no. Oh. Being said, I'm going to call it a night. As you can see, I got stuff all over me. I am going to edit the footage that I have and post it so at least be something on here because for some reason I don't remember to post anything and just kind of like get cracking on that so at least I have some video posted since I've been slacking and as you can tell I haven't been painting so my castle has been put on stagnant especially with oil paints but I'm thinking that I don't even know, like, I've just been busy trying to, like, do a lot, and then most of it has just been sitting around on TikTok. Unnecessary, but, you know, I need some downtime, I need some, like, clear thinking, so that's kind of, like, what's been happening, but thank you guys for watching, and I shall see you guys next time.